Hi guys and welcome back to the Crochet Toy YouTube channel. In today's video I'm bringing you another crochet tutorial and another one in the BT21 series. So this time it's for Koya. So yeah, if you're interested in finding out how to make this, then do keep watching. The written pattern is available on my blog for free, as always, and will be linked down below as well. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into what you'll be needing for this tutorial. For this tutorial, you'll be needing Aran weight yarn in white, blue and purple. Then you'll also be needing a piece of scrap black yarn. This is for the eyes. And I've also got some embroidery thread in black as well here. And this is going to be for the mouth. You could just use one or the other for both the eyes and the mouth. But I preferred the way that it looked having thicker line for the eyes and a thinner line for the mouth. You'll be needing your crochet hook. I've got a four millimeter crochet hook here to go with my Aran weight yarn. If you're using lighter or heavier yarn, then you can size up or down as required. I've got my yarn needle. A stitch marker I'm just using a piece of yarn for that you'll be needing some stuffing you'll be needing a lot more than this but this is just to demonstrate you may want some fabric glue just to uh, use a dab of this to keep the mouth in a smiling position so that's what this I this is uh, that's what I use this for uh, then you'll be needing some scissors and finally uh, you don't necessarily need these but you might want some pins to help you keep things in place as you're sewing everything around so that's everything that you'll be needing for this tutorial we're going to start off by crocheting the head so if you grab your blue yarn for round one we're going to do six single crochets in a magic circle So that's round one and then for round two we're going to increase in each single crochet all the way around Okay, so that's the end of round two and you should now have 12 single crochets all the way around. I'm going to talk you through the next few rounds as they're just standard increases in increments of six. So for round three you're going to do single crochet increase, I'll repeat that five more times to get you to 18 single crochets at the end of the round. Round four, two single crochet increase, I'll repeat that five more times to get you to 24 single crochets at the end of the round. Round five, three single crochet increase, repeat that five more times to get you to 30 single crochets at the end of the round. Round six, four single crochet increase, repeat that five more times to get you to 36 single crochets at the end of the round. Round seven, single crochet all the way around. Round eight, five single crochet increase, repeat that five more times to get you to 42 single crochets at the end of the round. And then rounds nine to 13, single crochet all the way around. So I'll meet you at the end of round 13 as we're then gonna start doing some decreases. I'm just about to start round 14 now, so to start off with we're going to do 5 single crochets. And then a decrease. And you're just going to repeat that five more times and that will get you down to 36 single crochets at the end of round 14. Then for round 15 you're going to single crochet all the way around. Round 16, four single crochet decrease, repeat that five more times to get you to 30 single crochets at the end of the round. Round 17, three single crochet decrease, repeat that five more times to get you to 24 single crochets at the end of the round. And then round 18, two single crochet decrease, repeat that five more times to get you to 18 single crochets at the end of the round. I'll meet you at the end of round uh, 18 as that's when we're going to then uh, stuff the head. I've got to the end of round 18 and I've added my stuffing. This is what the head's looking like now. So there's just two more rounds left to do. So for round 19, you're just going to do single crochet decrease and repeat that five more times to get you to 12 single crochets at the end of the round. And then for round 20, you're just going to decrease all the way around and that'll get you down to six stitches at the end of round 20. So I'll meet you at that point as we'll then close up the hole and um, finish off the head. 
just got to the end of round 20 so now i'm going to close up this hole so i'm going to cut my yarn leaving a little bit of a tail like this then i'm going to grab my yarn needle and i'm just going to weave this tail through the front loops of each of those final six stitches that we have at the end of round 20 so case then if you just pull quite tight then the hole should close up then you can just weave that yarn tail through to a stitch at the side don't pull too too tightly at this point and then just snip the tail so this is the head that we have now um so i think the next thing that we're going to move on to is making the nose so for the nose, we're going to use our purple uh, yarn and we're going to start off by doing six single crochets in a magic circle. Then for round two, we're going to do three single crochets. Then an increase. Then another single crochet. And then another increase. So that gets us up to eight single crochets at the end of round two. And then for round three, we're just going to single crochet all the way around. So that's the nose. Um, I'm going to finish off with a fake single crochet, so I'll show you how to do that now. So to start with, you're going to cut your yarn leaving a tail long enough for sewing. And then to do the fake single crochet, you're going to turn your work. You're going to skip the next single crochet, go into the one after that and pull that yarn tail through. And then you're going to go back to that final single crochet from round three and go into the closest loop to us currently. So this one here and just pull that yarn tail through again. And just pull it a little bit. And now, as you can see, it's just harder to tell where the round ended. So that's why I like to do that. It just makes it look a little bit neater. So now I'm going to pin this to the face and sew it down. I'm now going to sew um, the nose to the face using a running stitch. So I'll just show you the first few stitches that I do. So yeah, I'm just going to do that all the way around and you might want to add a tiny amount of stuffing before you finish sewing all the way around as well. But it's probably not necessary because this is such a small piece. So I'll meet you when I've sewn it down fully. I finished sewing all the way around. I didn't actually end up stuffing because I didn't really think it needed it, to be honest. You might just want to press the nose down a little bit as well like that um, if yours is sticking out too much. But I'm just going to weave my yarn tail through the nose and then I'll just snip that and now we can add the face details themselves I'm just using a scrap piece of black yarn for this
I think the mouth might be a little too big so I might think about using some embroidery thread or um, maybe making it a little bit smaller so give me one second and I'm just going to do that. I've just added the mouth again using some black embroidery thread this time and I think it looks a bit softer and nicer so I'm just going to use that obviously you can still use um, black yarn that's completely fine um, and because I want it to be in a smiling position I'm just going to add a little dab of fabric glue and uh, glue that down a little bit just to um, keep it in that position so just like that and if you get any kind of excess glue or whatever that you need to deal with, you can always use some tweezers um, later on to pick that off. So don't worry too much about that. But yep, I think that looks quite nice. So I'm kind of happy with those details now. So I think the next thing that I'll move on to is making the ears. I've already gone ahead and made one of the ears. So this is what it's going to look like. So uh, to start off with, you're just going to do six single crochets in a magic circle. So that's round one. Then for round two, you're going to increase all the way around. That'll get you to 12 single crochets at the end of the round. Rounds three to five single crochet all the way around. And then round six, four single crochet decrease, four single crochet decrease. And that'll get you down to 10 single crochets at the end of round six. So I'll meet you at that point and I'll show you how to close up the ear. And then we'll um, talk about making the inner ear pieces in white. So I got to the end of round six and now I'm just going to be doing five slip stitches across to close up the ear. Okay, so that's that. Now we just need to cut our yarn leaving a tail for sewing. So once you've got two ears like this, um, come back and we'll make the inner ear pieces. This is what the inner ear piece will look like. It's worked in rows, so let's do the other one together now. So to start off with, you're going to chain five. And then starting from the second chain from hook, so this one, we're going to be single crocheting across to the end. So that'll be four single crochets and I'm going to be working in the back loops, but you don't have to. Um, I just prefer the way that looks. So that's the end of row one you've got your four single crochets across for row two you're going to chain one turn and you're going to again do four single crochets across then for row three chain one turn decrease and then do two single crochets so now you're down to three stitches at the end of row three then for row four chain one turn again decrease and then one single crochet and that's it that's the inner ear piece so now you can just cut your yarn leaving a tail for sewing okay so now we've got our two inner ear pieces so we can sew these to uh, the bigger ear pieces I've pinned the two pieces together as you can see here just be careful if you do that because obviously the pins will be poking out the back so uh, yeah do remember that as you're sewing around um, so basically I'm just going to be whip stitching all the way around so I'll show you the first few Thank you. 
So yeah, I'm just going to do that until I come back to where I started and I'll meet you at that point. I finished sewing down the white piece and I just um, pulled the yarn tail through to this stitch here so that I can just snip this now. So once you've sewn uh, both of the white pieces onto the ears, come back and we can sew the ears to the head. I've sewn down one of the ears so I'm going to go ahead and do the other one with you now. So I'm just going to try and line it up with the other ear as best as I can and then I'm going to start sewing that down so I'm going to be whip stitching um, all the way around. So yeah, I'm just going to keep whip stitching all the way around and I'll meet you when I finish that. I finished sewing the other ear all the way around and I just weaved my yarn tail to the back here. So I'm just going to snip this now and I'm going to do this one as well because I forgot to do that before. So now the two ears are on top of the head. You might just want to like play around with them a little bit um, until you're happy with how they're sitting. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much the head finish now. So I think the next thing we'll move on to is actually the um, legs and the body, which are all um, kind of worked as one piece. So let's do that now. So we're going to start off by crocheting the legs and then we're going to join them together in a round and then that's going to create the body. So to start off with, you're going to want to do six single crochets in a magic circle. So that's round one. Then for round two, you're going to increase all the way around. That'll get you to 12 single crochets at the end of round two. And then for rounds three to six, just single crochet all the way around. So I'll meet you at the end of round six. I've come to the end of round six. So for the first leg, I'm going to cut the yarn. Don't particularly worry about leaving a tail. Just a little bit will do. Um, and then we're going to just repeat all those rounds once more. So rounds one to six, but this time keep your yarn on the hook because in round seven, we're going to join uh, the leg that we're going to make now with this one that we just made. Okay, so now I'm going to do round seven and join these two legs together. So to start off with, we're going to do six single crochets in the leg that's currently on our hook and I am going to just mark the first single crochet just to remind me where the round started. So that was one, two, three, Six. And now I'm going to work 12 single crochets around the first leg that we made. It doesn't really matter which um, stitch you join into to start off with. So I'm just going to pick this one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oops, I'm going to redo that one. I did something wrong there. So this is eleven, and then this is twelve. Okay, and now the final thing that you're going to do is just do six single crochets in the other leg. And if you don't know where to start, just count back six um, from the stitch marker, not including the marked stitch. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is the one we start with. One, two, three. Six. So now you've reached the end of round seven, you should have 24 single crochets all the way around. So now we're just going to do some rounds of single crocheting all the way around. 
So for rounds 8 to 16, you're going to want to just single crochet all the way around. So I'll meet you at the end of round 16. Got to the end of round 16 and I've added my stuffing at this point. I'm just going to I'm going to cut my yarn now, leaving quite a long tail for sewing. And then I'm going to just sew this now to the head. So let's do that now. I'm not going to be using any pins, but you can if you want to. I'm just going to kind of position the body where I like it. And then I'm just going to start sewing from the back. So I'm going to be whip stitching all the way around. So I'll just show you the first few. So yeah, I'm just going to be doing that all the way around until I get back to this point. I finished whip stitching all the way around and got back to where I started. So this is what it looks like now that the body is sewn down. So I'm just going to weave my yarn tail through to a stitch at the back. And I might just do one more. And I'm going to cut that. so we're getting there now I think the next thing that I'm going to do is make the arms so let's do that next I've gone ahead and made one of the arms um, and I'm going to talk you through the rounds for the arm because uh, there's nothing new that you haven't seen already really so for round one it's five single crochets in a magic circle round two increase all the way around to get you to ten single crochets at the end of round two and then rounds three to nine single crochet all the way around so I'll meet you at the end of round nine I'm at the end of round nine now, so all I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a little bit of stuffing and I'd say to uh, try and keep it fairly light for the arms. This might even be too much. I'm just going to, yeah, I think that's probably way too much. I'm just going to compare that to the other arm I have here. Yep, yeah, I think that's a comparable amount, so I'm happy with that. Um, and then I'm just going to do five slip stitches across to close. isn't quite right there, one sec. There we go. Now I'm just going to cut my yarn, leaving a tail for sewing. And now we can sew the arms to either side of the body. I've sewn down one of the arms, so I'm going to do the other one with you now. Again, I'm just going to be trying to line this up as best I can with the other side. And I'm just going to start by whip stitching along the top of the arm. Okay, and then the second thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to whip stitch a couple of stitches down at the front and the back of the arm as well to keep it from moving around so much. So I'm going to do two probably at the back and two at the front.
okay and then once I've done that I'm just going to weave my yarn tail through to the back again and then I'll cut that so that is both of the arms now sewn down the next thing to make is the white piece to go on the front of the tummy. I've already made it so I'm just going to talk you through the rows because it's basically the same as what we did for the inner ear piece except it's just a bit bigger and there's just a few more rows. So for row one you're going to chain seven and starting from the second chain from hook do six single crochets across to the end of the row. Then for rows two to five you're going to do chain one turn single crochet across. Row six, you're going to do chain one, turn, decrease four single crochets. And then for row seven, chain one, turn, decrease three single crochets. So you should have four um, stitches at the end of row seven. So I'll meet you at that point and uh, then we can sew this to the uh, front of the tummy. I've just pinned the piece down so row one should be at the top and um, row seven should be at the bottom. And I think I'm just going to be doing a running stitch um, similar to how I did for the sewing I think I did that for when I sewed down the inner ear pieces so um, I'm just going to start here So yeah, I'm just going to do that running stitch all the way around and I'll meet you when I've done that. I finished um, stitching all the way around so I'm just going to weave that yarn tail through and I'll do the same thing with this little yarn tail as well from the beginning. And then I'm just going to snip those. So the last thing to do is the tail, which is really quick. Um, so let's just quickly do that now and then we'll be done. For the tail, we're going to start off by doing five single crochets in a magic circle. So that's round one. And then for round two, we're just going to single crochet all the way around. And that is it. So I'm just going to cut the yarn, leaving the tail for sewing. And I'm just going to cut this tail as well, get rid of it. So now we just need to sew that to the back and then we're done. I'm just going to whip stitch around. I'm just going to finish the rest off camera because it's just a bit easier for me um, and then I'll show you when I'm done. Finished whip stitching around so I'm just going to again weave that yarn tail through. Cut that. And then I will show you a better angle of the finished product. So this is what my finished coir looks like from the front and from the back. So yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.